My comment is, it's public comment. Grasping a gold microphone, Tiffany Henyard faced questions. She, for the most part, refused to answer. When you don't answer questions, yeah. there's something to hide. Yeah. Oh. No, Madam Supervisor, we are not brainwashed. We are fed up. Henyard is under siege in both of the public offices she holds, Thornton Township Supervisor and Dalton Mayor. The most recent controversy involves a taxpayer-funded trip to Las Vegas in which a Dalton trustee is accused of sexual misconduct against a village employee. The woman claims in a lawsuit she and a member of Henyard's security detail, who was also on the trip, faced retaliation after reporting it to Henyard. They claim she responded by saying, if the information got out, Henyard would be ruined and all the work she had done would be lost. As a black woman, I want to see you protect black women. And I haven't seen that, Tiffany, since you've been in office, even in Dalton. And I understand, let's not talk about an investigation while I was pending, but it wasn't pending until it was exposed. And she had to do it herself because you betrayed her. WGN Investigates reported earlier this year, Henyard and her allies in the township racked up more than $67,000 on travel in a several month period last year. Many of the flights were first class. So were the accommodations. Henyard has never fully explained the spending and continues to say she's the victim of vicious opponents and racism. We're here to help each other, not hurt each other. And it's a shame that us, us, I'm talking to my black and brown communities, will sit here and fight. Henyard had several supporters in the crowd, including anti violence advocate Tio Hardiman, who offered himself up as a mediator. This baby has not been charged with anything. Hey, we ready to show the baby away with the bath water. We've learned federal investigators have been sniffing around the South Suburban government's Henyard runs for months. The Illinois Attorney General has also found Henyard staff is violating open records laws by refusing to turn over financial records requested by WGN Investigates and others. It's unclear whether further action by the state AG or the feds is imminent.